Welcome to the episode of Mostly Michigan Beer Reviews. I am your host, James. And before I get to what's under the white MMBR bag, I'd like to tell you a little anecdote. Do you ever get excited when you go beer shopping and you're not looking for anything in particular, but you happen upon a very special beer, and you're like, whoa, how could this beer still be here? I thought it was sold out like a month or two ago, three months ago, four months ago. Well, that happened to me. I found a new little secret uh, shop where I find beers, and they have a lot of secret, awesome, rare Michigan beers, I guess. Rare, but not really rare, but limited beers. So I'm very excited to show you this one. And here we go. Ready? One, two, three. We have Forgotten Tales of the Last Gypsy Blender. Series Volume 1 by Jolly Pumpkin. I'm super excited to try this and I hope it lives up to its hype. Um, so let's take a quick look and see where Jolly Pumpkin is located. There are about three locations plus their uh, where they bottle and stuff. So I'm gonna pick one and I'll let you know. That was one of the many locations of Jolly Pumpkin. Um, they have one in Dexter, which is I think the production facility. They have one in Old Mission up in Traverse City. They have one in Ann Arbor. And they recently opened up a location in Detroit. Um, I've been to the Ann Arbor. And I've been to the Old Mission one. And I'm going back to the old Mission 1 again next week. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that since they changed their name to United Brewers, I think. Um, I don't know, check the graphic right here. It might tell you what their new name is. Um, Alright, so let's take a look at this beautiful bottle art. Here it is, folks. Forgotten Tales, The Last Gypsy Blender, Series 1, Volume 1. Let's get a little closer look here. The F and the T are red. There's the gypsy. She's got a owl on her hand. There's a crow. It's ale with fruit added. Uh, brewed and bottled by Jolly Pumpkin. Dexter, Michigan. And there's their logo right there, a little stamp. That's cool. Let's see what's on the back. Forgotten Tales of the Last Gypsy Blender. Brewed and bottled by Jolly Pumpkin Artisan Ales. Now let's read this. A Jolly Pumpkin collaboration with Selena Tio, chef and owner of Julian and the Bell Fry in Kansas City, Missouri. Chief Chef Tio and I designed this beer together through a running, of, a running series of texts while planning a beer dinner we could hold at her place in Kansas City. Wandering conversations detailing layers of flavors flew fast and jumbled through the ethosphere. I think we will become great friends, I wrote. And we did. She came to Dexter and we brewed this beer together. Lori jokes and now insists Selena and I must be long lost brother and sister. Enjoy the spear, Ron Jeffries founder and chief squeegee operator. Blend one, bottled 515.15. So, let's see, that's June, July, August. So, about two to three months old. And let's take a look at the cap. They don't really have caps, but today they do. Look at that beauty cap. You know you want it, all you collectors out there. Alright, so there's the art, and I might have a little bit more details, and we'll start drinking. Wasn't that art beautiful? I love the bottle. I wish there was a t-shirt of it. Um, so this is a limited release, one-time brewed, 
So you'll never get it again unless you uh, stocked up. And it's an Oak Age Sour Saison in collaboration with Selena Tio, obviously. And it's brewed with mango and tamarind and a touch of rye. So I'm thinking we're going to taste some rye in there, obviously. Some mango. Um, I don't know what tamarind tastes like. I did not research that yet, so I don't know if I can explain that or not, but I will try. And the ABV is 5.7%. And IBU is not available. So let's open. Take great care opening this can. Because I don't have this one in my collection. Yes, I collect caps. I'm that crazy. Alright, Jolly Pumpkin. Don't let me down. There it is. Well, it's about half a finger head. A little, uh, it's white, white head, white foam. It is a hazy yellow color. You see that? It smells like classic Jolly Pumpkin beers. And to me, that smells kind of a uh, spicy and vinegary, acidic. So let's give it a shot, see what it tastes like. Hmm. This is one of their less sour beers, I guess, because it doesn't taste as sour as I thought it would be. It's easy drinking. And again, I don't know what tamarind tastes like, so I don't know if it's in there or not, but let's see if I taste any mango. Mm. I don't really know if I can get any hints of mango in there. I'm not really tasting it. But it is, it does taste like classic Jolly Pumpkin. They must use a certain type of yeast for their sour slash wild ales. Um, the same kind of wild bacteria that they use when they're fermenting. It's very, uh, it's very light. There is a slight vinegar acidity to this one, not as much as in our last episode with uh, Queen of Hearts or Queen of Tarts by Oddside. I think I'm getting a little rye at the end there. A little bit of rye. Well, I must say I'm not too impressed. Um, not a lot of flavor there for me. Um, <coughs> maybe my uh, palate cannot really uh, distinguish flavors with sours yet, so I gotta start drinking more sours um, and practice and learn. But I'm going to give Jolly Pumpkin Forgotten Tales of the Last Gypsy Blender Volume 1 a rating. I'm going to give it a 3.75 out of 5 today. Um, I like that it's light. I like the flavor. I like the uh, light acidity vinegar flavor. Aftertaste is very nice. I like the color. Um, it's not too interesting flavor wise, but. It's uh, very smooth and drinkable, so yes, 3.75 out of 5. And if you can find this, uh, go pick it up. If you're a Jolly Pumpkin fan, it's always good to have one or two in your collection or in the cellar. And uh, until next time, cheers!